Hey guys, how you doing? So, first question I got. Hi Steph, if you could go back to the beginning of your coding career with the knowledge you have today, what would you do? Which languages, jobs would you focus on? I hear a lot that coding is about solving problems. What does this mean? So first question, if I had to go back to the beginning, what would I do? I would jump into coding far more quickly than I did. So when I first started coding, I first wrote my first website, I guess in late 94, early 95, and I learned to code because I wanted to build a website for my business at the time, which had nothing to do with code. It was uh, a small business, but it was growing. Uh, it was profitable. It was in an old industry, meaning a very well-established industry that was slowly declining. So back then when I started coding, there was no competition in terms of the web stuff. And I got my first contract with a legal firm uh, in, I guess it was 95, and it was a quick, easy job. And uh, they offered to hook me up with all kinds of other legal firms around the world, in fact. And in retrospect, that would have been a fantastic business to jump into because it's so brand new. And everybody's getting into it. There's hardly any competition. I could have made a fortune on that. But of course, at that time, I had a, I already had a business which was unrelated to coding and technology. So I stuck with that. In retrospect, that was a mistake. Lesson I learned in business is that you want to jump into the new things, right? People have an inherent understanding of that with regards to coding. That's why people are always wondering, oh, do, are we working with the latest frameworks and libraries and so on? These days, it's much less of an issue because the technology has plateaued in terms of its involvement. If, if you wanted to get ahead with coding, what you should do is look at AI and see how you can implement AI into your daily, daily coding practices. And if you're concerned about AI replacing coders, that's such a bunch of BS. It's not going to happen for a while. Anyway, so my regret was not jumping with two boots in coding earlier than I did. I started getting into hard a couple of years later. And I was doing freelance, and then I started building my own SaaS products. But yeah, that's the only mistake, really, was not jumping in a couple of years earlier. He heavy duty in 94, as opposed to dabbling at that point. Uh, which languages, jobs would you focus on? Languages are irrelevant. What you're going to discover as you get more experience as a, a developer, you'll figure out that the languages are just tools. They're just tools. All you want to do is look for tools, whether it be a language or framework that will complement and improve your workflows. If it improves your workflows, if it makes you significantly more productive, then do it. If it's uh, just a lateral move, then don't do it. So question number two, I hear a lot that coding is about solving problems. What does that mean? Going back to the idea of looking at languages and frameworks and libraries, coding frameworks and libraries and languages as tools, all you're doing is using these tools and the nerds will call this implementation, to implement a tool. Uh, implement, you know, an implement is a, it's a tool. It's a, it's, a, it's a piece of equipment that allows you to do something. So an implementation, you get the idea, is it's, you're using tools to get something done. So when they say you are solving problems, you're just basically using these tools, the languages and the frameworks, to get something done. And... When you get something done, you're solving a problem. So, for example, if somebody wants to sell their uh, secondhand iPhones online and you develop an e-commerce solution for them, you develop an e-commerce shop where people can come find the site and select what uh, secondhand phones they want, add it to cart, make payments, you're creating a, you're solving a problem. The problem is I want to sell phones online and this is what I'm going to do. Another type of problem may be I have a shipping, uh, trucking company rather, and I want to manage the deployment of my truck, my fleet of trucks. So maybe I have 25 trucks in my fleet and I want to create a more efficient way of scheduling them. So it's just a lot easier to manage where the trucks are, when will they, when will they be available? So the problem is, how do I manage all these trucks efficiently? So as a coder, developer slash problem solver, you're looking at what they need to do, getting the requirements from the client, 
So they're going to tell you, we need to do this. We need to track this. We need to know what drivers are doing what, and so on and so forth. We need to know how many miles they're driving on a particular job, for example. So you have to gather these requirements and then figure out how to organize everything into an application that will work for them. So this is why I talk about communication skills are so important. You have to be able to communicate with the prospective, uh, with your client, figuring out what they need, understanding what they need, and then implementing that in a, uh, in a good way with the technology. So that's what you're doing when you're solving problems. I'm Uncle Steph, and I'm just answering a bunch of questions that people put to me. Thank you.